Hey everyone, Equinox here, and welcome back to Earthbound. There's a butterfly over here above the bench. I didn't need it, but I like the butterflies. And the last episode, in the last episode, uh, 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 we did some things. Something about a monkeys and trout flavored yogurt. And the clumsy robot. To be honest, last episode is kind of a blur to me because so much random things happened at one in one episode. It just kind of all merged together. But that is Earthbound. A lot of crazy things happen here, along with Charming and Pixely. Now, what are we doing? We are in Thread. We need to find a way to get to Summers, right? Um, I believe we need to go to the crash site of Jeff's Skyrunner. Where, when he saved Paula and Ness. So where is that? It was in the graveyard. Maybe it's in a different part of the graveyard. Yeah, there's another graveyard over there. On the bright side, there's no zombies. Do not enter. Well, I am entering! Can we go back down this way? Oh, yeah. There's a latar. Yay, shortcut. We painted over all the damage parts of the Skyrunner. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. Well, thanks for fixing it. I want this... I, uh, I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long. Thanks for everything. Thanks for every little old thing. Oh, so these guys, like, kind of gave it a paint job. I can't see where the problem is from this vantage point. I need to be in front. Ah, here's the problem. And it's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. There! That should do it. Now if we bore, the Skyrunner will take us back to Winter's. With Dr. Andonuts' help, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. If Dad, I mean Dr. Andonuts, is not available, I'll have to figure it out myself. Anyway, let's go back to the lab in Winters. That's it. Go, machine, go! Oh yeah, Jeff. Smart boy Jeff for the win! Wait, so are we... Are we going to look at all of the sceneries again that we haven't been to yet? Eh, I guess I can't complain because they'll give us a closer look at what to expect in the next few levels. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that is the desert. Oh, I saw a present and a monkey. Was that the desert we were already at, or... No, I think this is a new desert. Yes, it's Scaraba, I think. Well, we know to look out for a couple of presents over there. And a monkey. We're in Forthside. No, I don't think that was... I don't think that was Scaraba. That was the desert right before Forthside. Ah, what a ripoff. That means there are presents there I missed. Oh well. I was not willing to put up with all the poisonous enemies over there. Yay, we're finally in Winters. Ah, oh, it's the monkey and his girlfriend. Thanks for taking care of my husband. Oh, they're they're officially married now. They're not fiancés anymore. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. So, you pass by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? Can't seem to stop thinking about it. Go and see what's there. We're going to get out of here. 
We're still newlyweds, you know. Bye-bye. Oh, -bye. Uh, shit. They about to get their monkey on. Dr. Andonuts. Oh, I see stairs. Anything up here worth investigating? <gasps> A present. I open. There's a broken pipe inside. That is a Jeff item. I will give that to Jeff. I don't know on what level he has to be at in order to fix it or what he fixes it into. This is a caveman. Ooga Booga, may I help you? Waka Ooga Wa, what would you like? Ooh, cool, cool, cool. Bottle, uh, that heals. Doesn't that heal a uh, PP? And what else was it? What else? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Let me just check them out. Thank you, friendly caveman. Bottle of DX water. Very expensive water, but almost the same as, but uh, almost the same as the water you drink in town. It recovers PP a little bit. Beef jerky recipe for me. Uh, recipe for making jerky. Obtain some type of meat. Slice it into pieces about half of an inch thick. Hang the pieces on a laundry line or something like that, and leave out in the sun for maybe six months. Well, that's my recipe. That's. What my recipe says, when eaten, you'll recover about 150 HP. Good to know. Uh, hey, Mr. Dr. Andonuts. Oh, you surprised me. You're knocked, aren't you? Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Take care of yourself and Jeff. The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call this area the locals call the area Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave, I uh huh. I understand. While you're checking out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh yes, yes, my co-worker Bigfoot dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Alright, so cool. He's gonna fix this shit for us while we go to Stonehenge and get that sanctuary spot that Jeff saw but wasn't able to get because Ness wasn't in the party. Doesn't seem to be any more cave boys. Oh boy. I'm inside Stonehenge. But I thought I was supposed to go in the cave up north. Oh, no, I can't go in here because I need an eraser eraser. All I have is a pencil eraser. This game is weird. Well, we know what to ask Apple Kid for next. Ah! Cool. I accidentally... I accidentally got the jump on a evil caveman and got some severe XP. Uh, get away, get away from everyone. Aha. Let's do this. You finally got here. This is your fourth, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Who are you? Shroom attacks. Uh, okay, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. Let's see how you like a PK Flash! And let's see how you also like a PK Fire! And let's see how you also like a bomb in your face! PK Flash! Shroom's body became numb. 77 damage to Shroom. Shroom's body is numb and can't move. I'll double flash that up and I'll double fire that up. And let's see how much physical damage does. 
Only one. Yep. Shroom tried life out. No! Fuck. Shroom could not stop crying. Cool. PK Flash seems to be working rather good. Let's try PK Fire. And Jeff, uh, 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 uh. Spy. Jeff spies on the Shroom. Shroom's offense is 95. Defense, 154. Vulnerable to PSI fire. Numbing can't move. Good. He did say vulnerable to PK fire. I shouldn't have done a physical attack. I should have. Good thing his body is still numb. wonder how PK gaming is. Uh, I'll do a bottle rocket. I can always buy more. Chip fired a bottle rocket. See how much damage gaming does? Decent. I love that his body is still move still unable to move <laughs> I'll just shoot with Jeff I'm hoping one of these psychic attacks will finish him off what if that one percent of damage was <laughs> enough to kill him die fool Jeff attacks. Shroom try. Don't! Motherfucker! You should not be allowed to move when you are numb. Fine. Another bottle rocket for you. Unless you die this turn. Yep. Shroom became tame. I saved my bottle rocket. Not in his friends. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, look at that. My level is now 40. Now that I consider a high number. Oh, baby. Offense went up by five. Defense one. Speed two. Guts one. Vitality two. Luck two. Sweet. Maximum HP went up by... <clears throat> Hiccup. Went up by 29. That is awesome. Paula's level is now 35. Offense went up by two. Defense one. Speed one. Maximum HP two. Maximum PP two. Jeff's level is now 36. Oh baby, offense went up by 3. Defense went up by 2. Speed 2. Guts 2. Vitality 2. Oh baby, IQ 3. Luck 1. Sweet. Maximum HP 26. Ooh. Cool. Leveled up something fierce. Oh look, a rainy circle. The rainy... Not caught a whiff of pizza, but just for a second. Specifically the pizza that his mom makes. Because I realize there's an item already called pizza that's different. No. We're talking about like delivery pizza versus like homemade cooked by mother pizza. Vastly different things. So. Oh, that's so, that's so pretty. Where's the rain even coming from? It's only in this one spot. Cool. That's pleasing. So, how many melodies does that make now? Not touch the soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. Alright, so we are halfway done collecting the melodies. That's nice. That's awesome. 
Oh! Oh, yeah, they're all gonna run for me now. I don't need to waste my time on you, plebs. I love these doofy friendly bears. Friendly looking bears. Ugh, that was a lot of enemies, but I didn't have time to gather on any of them for battle. I got what I came for, so now I'm going back to tell Dr. Andonuts. Oh, not! Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Take care of yourself, Edge of hmm? It looks like he found something out. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. Instant revitalizing, revitalizing device. In only a few seconds, this machine fully revitalizes you, just like a good night's sleep. Sweetness. I think that's all my business here in Winters. Goodbye, Dr. Endonuts. Thank you for your help. You may be a questionable father, but there's no denying you're smart. Bye. Now is it going to show me the areas leading up to summer? Oh, yeah. It's just going to go straight to the point. Beach day! Why are we wobbling? Oh. Well, the Skyrunner is dead, but thankfully we are not. And we are at the beach! Woohoo! I wonder why such serious looking kids as you would come to, a res to, to this resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. Well, jeez. Oh, that's an enemy. He's running from me. There are enemies here. You look rather sunburnt. Wake up in the morning feeling like Pete did. No, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. And at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. Is this who you're in love with? The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. That's concerning. Uh-huh. So... If I remember correctly, the items in this shop are expensive. What do you want? So, if you're gonna buy something, man... Oh, that is the oh ah uh, oh ah uh, oh ah uh, oh oh. Everything is good, but everything is bad. I think I can get these items later on. So, yeah, it's not worth busting my buck over. Restaurant, fancy restaurant. So, where's your mom and dad? Well, my mom's at home. Um, watching my younger sister, and my dad is currently a phone. You mean your kids came all here by yourselves? Well, I can make your order to go. What can I get for you? Ooh, this sounds... Kraken soup! Interesting. We are looking forward to seeing you again. I'm so sure. Ooh, look at the view! Cool! Restaurant with a beach view! Pizza? Please, we do not have such trash on our menu. Well, nerds, to your restaurant then. Hmm, what do you say, Cool Joe? I'm actually a I'm actually a surfer, but you can't surf at this beach. Should I become a porter so that I can get tips from all the old folks? Uh, that was a terrible attempt at a surfer voice. 
I really need to step up my vocal game. But first I need to call my mother, make sure I'm not homesick. So how's your adventure going? Hmm, I see. It sounds like you're having a teach teacher drop by, yes. <clears throat> if my teacher keeps dropping by this many times and notices I'm not home, I think it's safe to say I am not going to school. I thought it was supposed to be summer. But whatever. You know, except in winters when it's still winters. I don't know. I don't know how this world works. Oh. Oh, I keep... It's like one horizontal line. Okay. Hotel, hospital, shop. Let's see what's on that side of the... That side of the... the, 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 the Club Stoic. This is not the Club Stoic. Ple this is not the Stoic Club. Be on your way. What? Not the Stoic Club? Please. But it says Club Stoic on it. The museum. If you're bored, go check out the Scarabo Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. They have a hieroglyph. For, they have a hieroglyph from the pyramid. That sounds important. Let's check it out. Right now, part of the Scarabo Cultural Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Three dollars per person. Study hard. All right, let's check it out. I know. Um. No, it wasn't the museum in Forsyth that was important. It was the museum here. I gotta learn something, but later. Why would Mr. Spoon from Forth from the Forsyth Museum try to call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Bah! I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to myself. <coughs> Well, that musical tone means it was something important. I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Pokey's here? This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. I can't... Well, I usually don't show this room. Once you hit adulthood, you'll understand. I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal would be in order? Okay. W well, I've got possibilities of what to do, but as far as what actually to do, I am a little lacking. I remember bits and pieces of what to do. Uh, I don't need a hint just yet. Let me check out this side of the the place and I will um 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 I will um 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 I will um 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 <gasps> a cat oh it's skull kitty <sniffs> what no I can't talk to him he only hisses oh but look at his skull kitty he really does look like a skull you're so cute Across the sea, there's a town called Scaraba. It's a mysterious town. It's my dream town. To go to Scaraba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? I fought worser things. Worser things? What about you, kitty? Meow. So where to go? Uh, would you like a boat ride? I don't feel like sending a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. These days, <laughs> magic cake. These days she spends her time hanging out in a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interest to discuss. Oh, is our relationship over? Uh. Well, that's rough. That is rough. So, 
she he mentioned the club but when i got to the club it wouldn't let me in maybe i can enter it now that i've talked to him but let's see if ye be head to Starima, ye ought to shop here things expensive down there so what you looking for what you like then yeah nothing i really need at the moment Will you be needing anything else? Please, come again. I'll buy from here, um... When I need those items and questions. I'm a grave robber! I was scared of the pyramid in Scaraba, so I didn't go in. But I tell people that I saw... But I tell people that I saw mummy-type monsters with my very own eyes. At least he's honest. To an extent. So what more is this way? I guess that's it. Dinosaurs assist! I saw one! It had been out, out of the underground when it dried out. Of course... It was dead. Believe what I'm saying. Hmm. We have seen stranger things. Speaking of, at the time of recording this, I had just gotten caught up on the uh, first half of the new season of Stranger Things, and it is so good. It is a good show. No, not the hospital. I thought this was the club. But man, the season! They really like making the characters suffer! And I don't like watching the characters I love suffer so much! What am I supposed to do? Wait? <laughs> I don't know how I got the jump on that enemy when we are clearly with our backs to it. But whatever. I will take the free EXP. Oh. I was wondering when we were getting another picture. This is going to be a terrible one. The palm trees are in the way. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can fix that. Ha! Uh, there we go. That's going to be a better picture. I love breaking the rules of games. Say fuzzy pickles! Yeah, that one's much better. We also got the sunburnt man in the picture too. So, we are at the end of the ropes here, from this side. I'm wondering what I'm supposed to be doing. The sky's blue and the sun is high. The price is here so high, it'll make your face turn blue. That's Summers! Does anyone here know the phone number? I'll have the braised bow over minced baby leeks. Oh, you're not the waiter. Can someone tell me a number? Pooed. Oh, sorry. You know, I can't quite describe it. Drinking glass after glass of iced coffee as well. That is alcohol. Well, bleh. Oh, excuse me. Uh, again? You know what? Why not? We're in a fancy restaurant, might as well. Ooh, I do like the view in the background. Nice view out the window. That is a great photograph. Thank you, random stranger who keeps following us. I like the atmosphere in this restaurant. They have good food, too. That's nice and all, but can someone tell me how to get to Club Stoic? I have fake teeth, so I like soft food. Not like rocks or stones. They're too hard. 
Okay. Good. It's <laughs> like, what? Hey, guy in the car. Hey, hey, stop putting your grimy fingerprints all over my car, you little punk. I will psychic you into oblivion. On the beach. Does anybody know how to get the phone number from Club Stoic? Don't talk to me. My mind is completely blank. Are you from England? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea to Scaraba from Toto, the port town. So this area over here is called Toto. Fine, give me a... No. Fine, give me a hint. Wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for... Uh, fine, give me to me. Oh, you know what? You need to make a reservation by phone to go to the club, to the Stoic Club. Someone in Toto, the port town next to Summers, should know the phone number. That's it for today, and... I would like my money back. <laughs> yep. Anyway, young man like you is very unusual these days. If you happen to need a hand, come on back. I'm here all the time. Thank you for the hint, and then I immediately time-traveled it so it didn't happen. But I still got the information! East of here is Port Town of to Toto. No, no. I'm not a billboard. <laughs> so who do I talk in here? Do I talk to the cat again? No. Won't let me. They just say meow and stuff, which is puppy! Bow! Not brown cow? What? If you come closer, I'll play the trumpet. Uh, I don't know how to play yet. <laughs> this game is weird! Yes, you told me about the dinosaurs. I'm not at that part of the game yet. I'm at this part of the game where I need a, someone to tell me a dang phone number. But I don't know who. Who's going to tell me the phone number? Uh, I don't want to go out to see because of the Kraken. I mean, any normal person would feel the same. Yeah, that's nice. Do you have a phone number? Yeah. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I'll warn you, though. It's a strange place. Thank you! Now I just need to book it to a phone, or? Who is this? Hello, Jeff? Oh, happy day. I, uh, oh, is this Tony? Hello, Jeff? Oh, happy day! I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff. Hi, it, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players like you. That's right, you. The one holding the controller. Oh, hi, Tony. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Register your name. So it wants my name. Alright, I'll give out the full name. Equinox. E Q U I N O C T What the fuck was that? I was expecting an orchestra. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Yep, that me. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later. Jeff, I hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From... Tony. You got you got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time, I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Aw, oh, Tony. He really misses Jeff. 
Alright, now I don't need to worry about anything else. Oh, there's a shop here, so maybe I can use a phone. Stoic Club. Hello, this is for Stoic Club. Oh, not, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Now that's done and out of the way, hello kitty. I am going to the Stoic Club! So I can talk to some lady in her magic cake. Got the museum. No! Fine, I'll fight you. Man, taxi, it, 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 uh, we'll beat you up. Ah, nah. I'm too lazy to fight. Oh, a bird. It's a minor bird. Wake up in the morning, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. I fall in love. That's my dream. Oh. It repeats the the, the... 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 The dialogue. That I talked to with that guy. Finally, I'm in the club. So, this is a lame club. I finally awakened the inner me. The true self. The Patreons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My idea is telling me. Okay, well, what about you? Hmm. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. What the fuck? The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosophizes. Doesn't it sound stupid? But aren't you... But I came in here to find the captain's wife, right? You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Whoa! Okay! 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 RPG getting real! Incredible! Jesus. So, who am I supposed to talk to? Dedicatedly speaking, delicately speaking, cement. Oh my god, too many big words. Seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your reputation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of that, I am irrefutably confident. This woman right here. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to talk to her, but what? You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony of studying and study of self in, in, de, in de, identification is blah 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 blah. I don't know what to do. <sighs> my reading is so slow, even though I know the words. Yes, he said all this stuff. Burn a hole in the comfortable or stare at me. Talk about cake. My idea is telling me. What? What? Magic cake? You came all this way to eat my magic cake? Yes, I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a little why don't you stop by a little card out on the beach later? Yay! We're gonna eat some magic cake now. Ah! We're gonna eat some magic cake now! Ah! Uh, you can't ambush me, monsters, because I have the power of time travel on my hands. 
I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake? I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. This is a very special cake. Ah, uh, shit, dude. It was that kind of cake. Knock had a dream. It was very clear and it was a very clear and very strange dream. Delong in the Far East. The Palace of Pooh, the Crowned Prince. Oh, yeah. Prince Pooh. The time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of training. I am Poo! Whoa, there is a cup of live noodles inside. Yes, I want all of the items. Poo opened the chest. So, from what I understand about Pooh, uh, he is a very, very powerful ally. Um, and food items, certain food items don't work on him because he is training, so he's on a strict diet. So, stuff like hamburgers and pizza, they'll heal, like, a good amount for Ness in them, but they'll only do, like, very minuscule, um, HP for Pooh. So, Pooh needs his own type of food. Like, more nutritious food. This guy is a phone head. Hello? Is that you, Noct? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at times like this. Oh, it's my dad. <clears throat> I deposited that much into your bank account. Taking away... Uh, yeah, I'm rich. Uh, he thinks I'm Ness. This is a nice castle. Prince Pooh, you're my favorite. Blush, tee hee hee. Pooh is a real ladies man. Ah. Uh, look at this. So tranquil. It is so cool. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Hmm. Hmm. I love the clouds hovering above the mountainsides. Preet. Preet. Ugh. Oh! Prince Pooh, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Oh, treasure chest, don't mind if I do, good sir. Pooh opened the chest. Bottle of water inside, yes. Please come in, look around the house as much as you want. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, Prince Pooh, do you have time to play with me? I'm afraid I do not. Happy me! Patty cake, patty cake. Aw, but I did take time to play patty cake with her. No presents? How could you? I just roasted some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. <laughs> well, not exactly helpful, but... Good to know how the citizens live their lives. I heard that Prince Pooh is deeply into Moo training. I want to help him if I can. I am Prince Pooh, and I am off to training at this moment. 
jar of delish delish sauce delish sauce oh it's condiment you know that you do do everything well right do do oops say prince Pooh, are you still popular with the girls i say so i heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days So I don't know how Pooh is, like, personality-wise. Does he dig all of the attention from the girls, or is he more serious, like, I must focus on training. I'm talking to the bunnies! As strange as they may, as th this may sound, these are statues of rabbits blocking your way. Alright, rabbit statues blocking my way. Well, I got nothing to do with that just yet, so... This is Mu, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Mu, you'll pass through. Mu is Mu. You have nice eyes! You must be Prince Poo! Long ago, I completed Mu training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I still realize I'm... St I still real- I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Okay. Now it is my time. Ah, Prince Pooh. I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that- you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Pooh? You must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, pr please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. I'm not doing it. That's a lie. It's, it's a deception. Ooh. Prince Pooh, I am a spirit of your an of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? I kind of have to. So, Prince Pooh. You cannot walk, as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. And take the taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Ugh. Ah, Prince Pooh. Without your legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now, I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your, your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? Everything went quiet. So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By float, by floating words, uh, by floating words through the air, I must ask you: Do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in an eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So, you can't answer? You can't even move? Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Pooh. Now that I will possess it. Know that I will possess it. Prince Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to this pl return to the palace. Well, that was um not pleasant <laughs> to say the least. Imagine being a kid playing this. 
and you're like, oh, I'm gonna break your arms, legs, take your eyes and ears, and just make you nothing. Just break every part of you. And you're like, okay, I guess I have to accept this. You have to in order to move on with the game. Pooh is a badass. For going through all that. He's like, yes, I've completed my training. No big deal. I am proud. You have completed your Moo training. There's nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. Prince Pooh. I thought the game froze for a second. I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge this entity are three boys and one girl. One named Nought is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Pooh. Now that you've completed your training, search out Nought at once. For all beings, for the Earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Pooh's level is now 16. Oh baby, offense went up by four. Oh baby, defense went up by four. Speed two, vitality one, IQ one. Maximum HP 15, PP two. Pooh realizes the power of shield beta. Pooh's level is 17. HP two, PP two. Pooh realizes the power of teleport alpha. Level 18. Oh baby, offense went up by three. Defense went up by three. Luck went up by one. HP three, PP one. Power of Teleport Beta. Thank you, Master. My name is Pooh. I am one who I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Nought. I will obey Nought. Nought. My life is in your hands. We got our final party member, Pooh. The four is now complete. Sweet, full party. And that will do it for this episode. Hooray. Now I kind of wish I didn't take those pictures earlier with Paula and Jeff. I wish I could take them with Pooh, but never mind that. We'll take more pictures with him. So uh, that'll do it for this episode. Now with the four heroes complete, We've still got plenty of battles this way, but it looks like roughly half of the game is completed. So I'm excited about that. We still got a grueling latter half to deal with. I remember feeling a little overwhelmed at times, but that was on the Wii U. This is on the Switch with time travel, and <laughs> I've made good use of that so far. So until next episode, thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next one. Later!